Do you want to create some fun portraits for Halloween? Photograph your friends in costume and then use Luminar Neo. Hi, I'm Darlene with Digital Photo Mentor and in this video you'll learn how to transform your image into something spectacular using layers and the tools inside Luminar Neo. It's not as hard as you might think. So if you're ready to turn that picture of your friend into a ghoulish masterpiece, let's begin. Okay, so we've already got the sun rays added, okay? So let's go in here and add some other effects using the neon tool, okay? We can also blur the background some more. And I kind of did that with uh, Portrait Boca as well, but we could go even farther with it, okay? So let's do, let's do the blur first. I have the idea of doing um, a zoom blur, okay? So if you use twisted, but don't change the angle, Okay, so you leave the angle at zero, it zooms, okay? I'm gonna put this center. We could even center it from here. Ooh, that's kind of cool, yeah? Okay, so let's do that. And then of course we need to mask her out. So let's do mask AI and see if it picks human. Okay, so I'm gonna choose human. And of course I'm gonna have to invert it. So hopefully it picks all of her, yes. And then invert, excellent. Okay, so now I'm gonna copy it and I'm gonna apply this blur again. So twisted, 100%, place the blur over here and then just paste in the mask. So what I'm doing is duplicating it so that the effect is twice as powerful, okay? So I'm just adding this zoom blur onto there. So I couldn't have done that when I did this image originally because the blur tool didn't exist yet. So I like that. I like that this the universe is seemingly surrounding this little glowing object, okay? Now let's do neon and glow and I wanna put a glow around her on the outside. So it's gonna select her. By default, it picks like an orange color, right? So we should be all right. I'm gonna make it a bit more orange like that, and then just adjust it. I just want a little bit of a glow around her. Or we want a bigger glow with less intensity. So you get to decide, bigger glow, less intensity, or more intensity, smaller glow. Maybe like that. Yeah, maybe like that, okay? Let's make the orange a little bit intense. And then of course, we have sparklers. So once again, I'm gonna match the hue because I want orange sparklers. So I use 34 above. So I'm gonna use 34 again. That's on the hue slider, okay? And let's spread the, the sparkles out. Like so. Okay, now I noticed that overall, this is adding too much glow around this thing here, okay? So all I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna mask and I'm just gonna erase, what happens if I erase from there? Okay, so see how that, now I can see her hand a little better. I wanna see her arm. Okay, I like that. How's that? I messed up too much of her arm. Uh, you get the idea. There we go. Like so. Okay, so that's pretty cool as well. Okay. Now I find that it's gone a little bit contrasty and a little bit overly saturated. Okay, so I'm going to go to develop and just bring the highlights down because I want to affect that area mostly. And there's a color tool here where I can actually do saturation at the same time, right? So it's not going crazy. I don't mind that, okay? And then 
if we want to put smoke behind her, I've kind of gone a different way, you know, with the blur, but if we want to put smoke behind her as well, we're getting crazy here, okay? Um, let me show that on the other one, okay? Right? So if I go back here, so what do you think, right? So I took that original image. Keep in mind, we could add the sun rays here as well, okay? So I did the blur on the background to make it look like it's all zoomy, gave her a glow, and gave her sparkles. Maybe a little bit less glow. Let's do a little bit less glow. So outer glow. Let's just dull that down a little bit. That's better. That is better. Okay, so then if we want to put smoke, remember we still need to do a background cutout, okay? Because you need to have layers to put smoke, okay? So what I would do is duplicate this layer. So it's exactly her, okay? And what I'm gonna do on this layer is undo the blurs. So I'm gonna undo this blur. I'm gonna undo this blur. And I might even undo the neon and glow because I just want her on top, okay? So the glow will still be there. Let's see how we're doing. Yeah, I just want her. I just want her. So I'm going to turn off all of these edits, okay? So I'm going to turn off all of these edits because I want to crop her out, okay? So we're going to go to Layer Properties, Masking, and let's try Portrait Background because it is a portrait, so it'd probably do a better job of, of cutting her out. Let's see what we got. Okay, so it removed everything. Oh, there is, there she is. Okay, so we can say we need to refine the subject. Okay, so it's looking pretty good actually. It's got her selected pretty well. I'm actually just going to go with that. Okay, so I'm going to say let's just go with this. All right, so now. Have we removed the background? Yes, okay, so this is what this layer looks like, okay? Now, if we add a layer behind her, um, we need to find some smoke. So I got some lay um, images of smoke um, that I downloaded from stock and so on. Uh, let's see, where are they? Okay, so I just have a little collection, okay? I don't know if I can drag and drop in here, but I'm gonna go to my stock folder and find my smoke images. So photo stock, fire and smoke. Okay, so I'm just gonna find something that is smoke that is in the background. Where's my smoke? These are all the ones I used for, can't even see that one. So I think these are the ones I want because it's a PNG. It's literally white. So I'm going to add that one and we're going to attempt it. Okay. So it's white on a white background and you can't see it. Okay. But if I increase my opacity, okay, so you can see there is smoke, right? You can see there is the smoke. I can rotate it at will, right? So if I want the smoke, coming from behind her or coming from there. Actually, that's kind of cool as well. So we could have the smoke coming from here. Okay, so again, we could have the smoke lighten, right? And if this layer is not bright enough, of course, we can punch up the whites on the smoke. So I think it's gray smoke, to be honest. Okay. My computer is not catching up, right? If we want smoke behind her, we could definitely do that. Now I want the smoke behind it, so I'm gonna lower it so it's behind that object. Let's do another smoke. And let's try this one. I'm not even sure what this looks like, but we'll find out. So add it, let's go 100%. I'm going to flip it and let's make it bigger. 
So let's just say I just want a whole big puff of smoke behind her. Okay, so 100% lighten and put it behind her. See that? So now we've got completely the original image is, is gone, right? So we've created something more of a fantasy. I'm still not convinced I like this image of the, the smoke there, right? Now we've got something of a fantasy that we can do whatever we want with. Right? So I just wanted to show you how to add an element like this in behind your subject. Ooh, that's kind of cool. And I noticed that there's a little bit of masking area in between her feet there, so we can fix that easy enough, right? That's on this layer. We just need to mask it and get rid of this part up here. So I'm just going to erase with a small brush and you should see the smoke come in between here now. Again, my masking is very crude, but I just want you to get the idea, all right? So now you see the masking, the smoke in behind her, okay? So if we turn off each of the layers, right? You'll just see the smoke where we should see. So that's the base layer plus the smoke. I'm going to get rid of this one. So if we turn the smoke on and then we turn the copied layer on, that's why I made a copy and put her on top and the smoke is in between. Oh, she's going to like this. <laughs> she's going to like it. She's going to like it. She's going to like it. Awesome. I still might put the uh, sparkles back on her. I still like the idea of the sparkles. So let's do uh, her outer glow and her sparkles. A little more sparkles. There we go. Perfect. I love it. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy my teaching style and you want more step-by-step -step instructions to learn the software, check out Luminar Neo The Complete Course. You'll find a link to it in the pinned comment below. Click either of the videos on the screen now to watch more photo editing tutorials using Luminar Neo, Lightroom, and Photoshop.